Today we're going to look at the technique for dressing a centered lap. This is a 10 to 20 micron Swiss made centered lap. The cutter has been using it for many months and the cutting action is slow and the luster on the surface of the stones looks shiny instead of matte. In order to dress the lap and expose the diamonds to make it cut faster, she uses a technique she learned in a precision cutting factory in Geneva. She applies carbide powder to a flat piece of glass sitting on a desk, along with water to make a kind of rough slurry. She draws a small line on the back of the lap so she can keep track of her direction. Now the fun begins. With the line facing 12 o'clock, she starts the dressing process. She does two revolutions around the glass clockwise and then two counterclockwise, making sure she keeps a consistent pressure on the lap. She decides more carbide powder is needed, so she adds more into the mix. After she goes around two more times, she rotates the lap so the line is pointing from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and she does two more rotations in each direction. She continues this process over again at 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. At each position, she does the same routine, two times around clockwise and two times around counterclockwise, keeping consistent pressure. Once she has done all four directions, she washes all the grit off the lap and examines the surface. There is still a bit more of the old surface she wants to take off, so she adds more carbide powder and we go through the whole sequence again starting at 12 o'clock. Two times around clockwise and again counterclockwise and then on to the 3 o'clock position, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock and then washing. In the factory they use this technique every month or two and then every few years they send the laps back to the manufacturer for a perfect machine dressing to know for certain that the laps are perfectly flat and free of any issues. After the second washing she wants to see if she can get one last groove out of the lap so we do the whole routine a third time. After all four positions, she washes the lap for the final time and inspects the whole surface. It's looking good. You can see, compared to the before video, that the lap is not only clean and free of gunk, but more of the diamond layer is exposed and it looks slightly rougher. It should be good to go for another few months of cutting. Now that it's been dressed, she notices that it cuts much faster and the texture on the faceted surface is slightly more rough looking perfectly prepared and ready to go to polishing.